All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Alder's Blood. It's, as far as I can tell, it's some kind of like RPG-ish thing crossed with like Bloodborne. There's vampires, there's werewolves, and you're hunting them down, and there's some other stuff. I'm not really sure. We're just gonna get going. Quick start sitting, we'll skip the tutorial. No, I want to play the tutorial. This is a game that they gave gave me access to like crime months more ago. Oh. Than the slaughter of kin. What about the slaughter of a god? The rotting corpse of our father curses these lands. It must be done. I will reckon with the consequences in time. Finally, my search leads me to a hilltop riddled with shrines. The crown. This is where it all ends. Okay. So it's kind of RPG-ish. This is neat. Use six cents to locate enemies out of your range of vision. This reveals enemy positions, but does not identify enemy types. And yeah, I'll check to see if I can turn on subtitles. At last, the crown is in sight. My journey's end draws near. Just a stretch more road to take, along with the lives of the last few creatures she hides. Then we shall rest, father. Then we shall have peace. To move, do. Select any space within the standard movement range, represented by a white outline. As long as you move within the standard movement range, Duke will not tire himself. Duke can move freely, making as many adjustments as desired, so long as he does not exceed the white border of his movement range. However, every node he travels decreases the remaining number of nodes in his range by one. Movement stat covers the movement of hunters. Okay, so let's, let's go into settings real quick. One, uh, I'm going to turn sound effects and music down a little bit so we can hear the voice acting because the voice acting was actually pretty top. It does not look like there's subtitles, but I think it only mattered for that one pseudo cutscene. It would be wise to avoid unwanted attention. These patches of tall grass should conceal me well enough. Moving through the tall grass or bushes hides hunters from enemy sight. Uh, let's see. Grants concealment. Beware. Only silent actions will keep hunters hidden. Lever hunters surmount overwhelming odds in the battlefield by virtue of tactical concealment. Moving onto the bushes will require Duke to move further than his movement stat would allow. This is the extra movement range. Moving outside the highlighted white outline will start to remove stamina tabs. The more you move, the more stamina tabs it costs. Hunters with larger stamina stat will naturally be, be better at traversing the extra movement range. This has diminishing returns the more it's used. One clean shot should put the creature down. I'll be in loud. I pray none of its allies lurk nearby. Okay, so I think I me messed up the sound settings. To initiate ranged combat, select the corresponding ability on the ability bar. This opens the targeting menu, highlighting available targets within range and line of sight. Burning blood of the hunter's line grants them uncanny focus and reflexes, and a shot that a hunter makes in battle will never miss its mark. Select the enemy you want to target, then open fire with shoot. Caution. Most ranged weapons allow and alert enemies within a certain radius of your position. The audible radius for each icon uh, for each weapon is found in the ability description beside the sound icon. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go back to sound settings, because... Oh, did they tie his voice to sound effects? That's a little worrisome. Yep. They did. That sucks. Okay. I should probably turn it back down. Curses. Yep. The wind wills against me. Any closer and this brute will catch my scent. Perhaps if I'm swift. I can make enough ground to shake the trail before he finds it. I bet it's only an issue... I bet it's only an issue in this specific mission because we're currently in dialogue-ish mode. That's dumb though, they have a voice slider that doesn't actually apply to all voices. But it's fine. When moving through the battlefield, always mind the wind direction. Hunter's scents are carried on the wind, so it's best to keep downwind of your prey. Any idle monster who discovers a hunter's scent will immediately become alerted and investigate the so source of the smell on its turn. A word to the wise, beastly noises are keen and cruel. 
If a monster thinks to sniff you out, you best be on your way swiftly. Okay. So, I'm just gonna turn the whole thing down a bit. I don't know what to do about the sound effects. I'll keep them above the music, I guess, for the time being. But, like, I really don't want to hear uh, really loud gun noises, because tinnitus. But still. Okay, so is this the wind? That must be the wind. Okay, so if I'm over here, obviously they'd see me. Uh, oh no, there's the smell coming one. off me. Could it be they're drawn to your corpse? No matter. These beasts are simple. A thrown pebble would distract them enough to sneak past. Okay, throwing a pebble can change the direction of idle enemies. Monsters caught... Oh, so... Yeah, full stealth. Monsters caught in the area of effect will hear its impact. Turn in that direction and investigate it on their turn. There's no limit to the amount of pebbles you can use. A hunter can grab them from the ground. Alerted enemies will ignore the pe pebbles. So I'm bleeding stamina left and right. And the voice acting just turned off. Path grows unpredictable. The farther it ascends, best catch my breath while I have the chance. Alright, so end turn button. So he went looking for the scent it smelled earlier. Okay. This is neat. I like this. It. I'm getting some Banner Saga feels from this, mainly from the animation and the character models. Almost to the top. This clearing swarms with fiends. Perhaps a quiet approach is ideal. I should ready my blade before moving in. Okay, hunters can carry two weapons on any mission, one large and a sidearm. You can switch between these freely at any time. Employing a variety of combat options allows hunters to solve problems more creatively. Keep multiple damage types in rotation to navigate monster resistances and weaknesses. Okay, so we've got a rapier. Ah, a fine opening for my rapier. I should press the advantage while its back is exposed. Huh, rapier. I guess that would make sense. I've always called it rapiers, but... Anyway. Initiate melee combat. Select the corresponding ability from the ability bar. Click on a node adjacent to the enemy. Move in striking positions. Attacks drain stamina, so be sure you have enough before you commit to one. Attack unaware enemies from behind with a small weapon to perform a backstab. Backstabbing an enemy immediately downs them, draining all their stamina and rendering them vulnerable to banishment. Okay. My ambush has brought the beast to its knees. It is vulnerable to banishing. Not the most elegant solution, but I have little choice. Down enemies can be banished from the physical plane by invocation of an old hunter's right. To do this, first move to a node adjacent to a downed enemy, then select banish from the ability bar and target your foe. Be careful, as this action drains three stabs of stamina. A rush of power, to be sure, but power corrupts. Wise hunters know that such victories always come with a cost. Okay, so he's actually... He doesn't actually have as much HP. Okay. Ugh, my skin crawls. Such rituals invoke the darkness too intimately for my liking. But the deed is done, and my destination is close at hand. So we just went uh, full, full ghoul there. Finally, the summit. I'm here at long last, father. Now where are... Holy shit, this stuff looks cool. Well, he lost his ever-loving mind. Welcome to Elder's Blood. Greetings, Hunter. Welcome to the Cradle. Welcome to Elder's Blood. From here on out, you will play as Chief, the leader of a small hunting company. Your party is loyal to you. They will place their lives in your hands. It'll be by the virtue of your orders, whether they find valor or death on the battlefield. 
was three months ago when Duke left, suddenly without word, note, or warning. We don't know why, but we know this land is cruel. He won't make it far on its own. And I won't lose him now. For weeks we've stalked his tracks, and they led us to a desolate hill on the Exile's Waste. A place called the Crown. What did Duke hope to find here, other than a pile of weathered stones? Chief? Should we set up camp here, Chief? Yes, but send Renor Renoir on lookout duty. We are the strangers in the way. We are strangers in the ways, and we don't need any surprises. How's you go? Not good, Chief. The com corruption spreads f within him, but he's still with us. Keep an eye on him for me, all right? Aye, aye. We'll do, Chief. I was kind of hoping this whole thing would be fully voice acted, but whatever. It's okay. Caravan of hunters will travel the land through various regions, towns, and wilds. Right now, your party wanders the Exile's Waste. A long day's journey lies behind you, and a litany of unknowns ahead. It would be wise to set up camp before making any more ground. Click on the camp button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Interesting, so camp embark equipment. Codex, faction loyalty. Great houses of the city control and comprise most politics within the region. Your hunting party may need to work for these nobles and build relationships with them by accruing loyalty. Our loyalty score with any given house will upgrade that house's shop. Improvements include lower prices, higher stock quantities, and the availability of unique weapons and items. Alright, so that's that's right out, at least for a while. So we got silver, food, hunting materials, mechanical parts, ritual ingredients, crafting points, and current turn. Alright. Equipment. It, this really is giving me some banner saga vibes here. But not in a bad way. On this panel, you can view the stats and resistances of your hunting party and change their equipment. The more experienced hunters become, the more likely it is their stats will change. On the right, you can see their weapons, charms, items held by any current hunter. Selecting a slot will allow you to modify its contents. Each hunter can equip a large weapon, the primary slot, smaller sidearm. Okay. In order to maximize their alacrity, hunters wear charms in lieu of armor. Charms are small trinkets imbued with powerful effects to bolster their, stati bolster their statistics and resistances. As hunters rise in level, they gain more charm slots. An equipped charm cannot be unequipped, but it can't be replaced by a new charm. Original charm will be consumed in the process. Items often make key differences between wise and foolish hunters, as well as between life and death. Think of these, gener these as general tools for the hunt. Items vary from medical supplies to throwing knives. Read the item description to learn more about individual effects and use cases. When a hunter depletes all of an item's charges on a mission, the item is immediately consumed. I can change his appearance. I really like the uh, the heavy use of lion in these. So what skins do we have? We only have two. There's a bit of a shame. I like the red skins though. Oh, which I can change. Cool. They won't see me there. Like a wind. Monster in sight. Moving. Trap set, chief. Spawn of darkness. There we go. So we've got Renoir. Is this the only guy that I have? Oh, here we go. Maxwell, Hugo, and Ethan Gray. So it actually looks like there are different kind of classes. Maybe it's... No, I have no idea. No? I don't know. Looks neat, though. So... Let's get going. So, camping tasks. Hunter's work is never done. Even when camping, your party will stay vigilant. You manage them to complete camp tasks. There are many crucial and beneficial duties that hunters may perform during this time, including guarding, resource scavenging, crafting, and mending their wounds. Okay, visit the job board. Job board is a list of hunters currently assigned to your caravan and what camping tasks they have been assigned. To modify or swap these, okay. Each task has a unique effect on the campsite. For now, go ahead and set Remoras to guarding. This will safe safeguard the camp against enemy ambushes. Let the others rest. The pursuit of the Duke has been taxing. The road stretches long ahead into, tomorrow, into tomorrow's moonlight. Please finalize your choices. Okay, cool. So Renoir is going to be guarding, resting, resting. They said rest. What if we don't rest?
I see. So scavenging increases an accident ch chance. This cost us some food. So I'm going to have one of these guys go scavenging. And this person... So that guy's got boosted scavenging. Uh, let's try. Let's try this. Let's defy. Hunter party craft weapon sacrifice. Sacrifice. All right. Let's wait a day. Okay. So we got what we needed. Wait. Oh, here we go. That's how I leave. So we have ready, a dialogue. Sir. Everyone is up and ready, Chief. Good. Get him saddled. We'll leave for the crown at aye once. Aye. Do you think the Duke could still be up there? Or think Duke could still be up there? Hope against all hope, my friend. Alright, we could embark. Interestingly enough, we could potentially just hang out and camp for a while, but I'm, I'm assuming current turn changes things if I wait too long. It's a full map of the continent. From this menu, you can select Destination. For the caravan by clicking on the region. Tracking efforts suggest the Duke has made his way to the crown. It's your ne next objective. Set a course to begin the journey. Keep in mind, traveling such distances is no trivial commitment. It would take one day to arrive in an adjacent region. Exiles wastes. Exiles are the lowest caste of humans in society, or more precisely, outside of society. They possess no rights and bear no duties for the common good. Despite their name, the exiles wastes are not ruled over, nor even inhabited by exiles. When a citizen is, con uh, citizen is condemned to exile, he or she is thrown out into the waste to wander in solitary penance. This function alone inspired the region's current name. Endless mounds and hills stretch in every direction toward the horizon, said to be the graves of a long-dead kingdom. But no one seems to know or care much about their history now. The crown to the wastes. Or no, to the crown. There we go. Travel. Oh boy, there's... There's a lot of lore that we're going to have to just swim through on this one. I like it, though. The writing is solid. Okay, the crown. The tallest hill and highest point in the Exile's Waste is known as the crown. Rings of ancient monoliths adorn its peak. Countless fables and folktales recall forbidden rituals at the summit. Outsiders are frightened of it. They use it as a landmark to navigate through the Waste, but typically keep a wide berth when traveling past. It's unclear whether the fear came before the stories or the other way around. But now they are one and the same, and the crown is imprinted as an imposing and accursed sight for sight in the public perception. Some scholars have posited that the crown spires are formed not of stone but wood. Petrified alder trees, they write, share many key properties with these ancient monoliths. Oh. I do. Chief. What? Who? It's me, Chief. You. By the father, what happened to you? Ethan. Maxwell. Get under his arms. We gotta get him out of here. Oh. Oh. So tired. Horror is unceasing. Man, these illustrations, they're so good. I do really wish it was fully voice acted, because the guy they chose for Duke was actually pretty dang good. Anyway, it's hard to look at the hollow shell that Duke has become. One of the greatest of our kin, now a broken blind man. What horrors reduced his condition so? What fools let him ride out alone? Chief. I have to say I'm impressed, Chief. How did you find me all the way out here? Why did you leave, Duke? Yes. Hasn't anyone ever told you it's unkind to answer a question with a question? Yes, and you did. But we could have helped you. Why did you go alone? No. God, like, look at all of that. That's so good. No, Chief. You couldn't have helped me. You're not ready. What do you mean? I don't think so. You are bound by your loyalties, your responsibilities, duties, to protect the humans who despise us and defend a world that plots against us. Tell me, Chief, has it ever dawned on you that we might hold a higher purpose? Our old duties were but a distraction. Master Hunters! Help! Help! Master Hunters, please come quick! They're almost upon us! Charles, what is it? Speak clear, boy. Beasts! 
Beast of Attack, the inn, King's Rest, near the crossroads. Hmm. Go, brother. Your duties await you. Huh. You're coming with me. Ha! Huh. What use am I in this sorry state? You're part of this family, whether you like it or not, and I won't leave behind my own. Hmm. Dear sirs. Sirs, please, we need to hurry. Lead the way, boy. Okay. Unwelcome guests. Mission type assassination. Briefing. Oh, I guess tutorial first. Welcome to the mission briefing. Within this screen, you'll find details for the next mission, its objectives, potential rewards. On the right, you can select which hunters to include in the mission. You can also quickly assess hunters' equipment and change their gear. When you're ready to initiate a mission, start mission. Cool. So monsters have gathered at the gates of the King's Rest Inn. Even from afar, you can hear the banging of a hammer boarding up the windows. The men and women inside are trapped. They won't stand a chance. We're their only hope. All right. Corruption negligible, negligible. So Hugo's corruption is rising, and I don't know how to do anything about that. So start mission. We'll figure it out. And I am going to drink some water because I'm losing my voice. The beasts are attacking the, the gate. Quickly, you must go. We won't throw out our lives from oh throw our lives away with the frontal assault. The beasts are many, and we are few. Kill the back leaders and the rest will disperse. See these big ones. They're our quarry. The rest are unimportant. Look, this one's back is exposed. The perfect perfect opportunity to strike. Be sure it doesn't see us or smell us before the moment comes. Being spotted by a monster may trigger a reaction from that monster. The hunter is spotted while moving, they will immediately stop, and the creature's reaction will play out. This could be an attack, or in the case of a shrieker, a jarring screech that triggers further monsters' reactions. Use pebbles to alter the direction of your fo your foes are facing and approach targets from behind. Indicators underneath each monster's feet display states. I idle underwear, alert, engaged. Little arrows indicate the way each base beast is facing. Remember, backstab with a small weapon will down any standard enemy and render them vulnerable to banished. Okay. Waiting for orders. So he's got throwing knives. He's got a net. And he's got a cicada and tear flesh. Going. You are dead. Okay. Characters inflicted with bleed will lose 20 HP at the beginning of each turn. Bleeding appendants are weak to spirit damage. Cure bleeding by apl applying bandages. Okay. You are dead. So he's bleeding. I wonder if you can stack bleed. We have muffled shot. Quiet, but not silent. All right, so he's got a slash. Attacking. Target acquired. That one's dead. All right, there should be more, but where is he? Some Sometimes to finish the mission, you need to finish an objective other than killing monsters. There's three objective types. Move... Activate and pick up. Your next objective is to move to the point with the shoe icon on it. Walk towards it and see what happens. Okay, so these guys are tired. I'm one with the shadows. I'm just going to move there. We're going to end the turn. I don't know where the enemies are. And I want my guys to have enough Chief? stamina. Okay, there we go. So we know where our Getting enemy cover. is. Damn it. Oh, so that's that is the shrieker. Okay, so we've been, we have been spotted. Hiding. Not really. Attacking. Attacking. Okay, so I've got down. three of these. One and less it's target. Gone. Awkward. No one can see me there. I'll have to. Oh, 
Look out, Shrieker ahead. Their kind may appear unimpressive, but their screeches will alert nearby monsters to our position and draw waves of unwanted attention. Not our true prey. Let's distract it and focus on the brawlers. Whoops. You have my attention. Vanishing. Okay. Let's just get in here and figure it out. It is confused. It knows I am here. I'm sorry. Curses. Damn you. Well, this goes... This went poorly. Can I, uh, restart mission? Okay, let's restart mission. Yeah, this is bad. That worked very badly. Okay, let's let's try this again. I was kind of assuming that Chief. they wouldn't be able to move in as fast. You are dead. Okay. So the question is, I'm assuming I can't banish. We have a pebble, but banishing is banishing. no good. I'm going to move him there. All right. Move back to this guy. Relocate. He's got plenty of movement range. He can banish. You are going down. One less target. Okay. Much smoother. Getting into cover. You have my attention. Much less. I'm one with the shadows. Uh, considerably less problems. Okay, so now we wait. Now we're not tired. Okay, chief. We get our stamina back. So we have him. Ideally, I'd like to finish him off if I can. I'm one with the shadows. Shooker head. Okay, so we already know about this. Lock and loaded. I guess honestly, let's pebble to the other side. For our father. Chief. Hiding. Ready. They won't see me there. Because this way, no matter what, it won't spot me. Or won't spot my guys coming up. So he's confused. Ideally, I'd like to stab it in the butt. And if it stays there, that puts me in a, a good position. Locked okay. and loaded. Getting into cover. Okay. Never mind. Attacking. So we wanna we wanna guide this thing away. Uh hmm. Chief. No one can see me there. Be gone. Okay, so I gotta kill the young brawler. So I think I'm gonna use Countless pebbles. I guess what we could do is try and leverage pebbles to, like, distract both groups. Uh-oh. Ready, sir. Okay. Ready. So, Renoir... Is a net. No one can see me there. Move him there. Chief. Going in. Here. The one problem is, because it's not a 3D game, I actually have no idea if you, you can see me. Down. Okay, it's, it's, it is downed. But we don't have enough stamina Hiding. points. Chief. Let's get him there. Going. Going in. He's got a fair bit. One more kill. Leaders are slain. The horde will disperse momentarily. Oh, that was it. So we just had to kill the two guys, and then just the Shriekers were gone. Perfect. I like that. It's a hunter's eternal duty to protect mankind, but a bit of gratitude has never hurt the cause. 
Your hunting party may receive items, weapons, charms, or resources as rewards for completing missions and quests. Mission rewards can be previewed in the mission briefing window. However, hover over the icon for more details. So we get some EXP. And we get blueprint for a hunter's pistol, a hunting net, a double-barreled shotgun, silver, materials, and EXP. With the last brawler dead, the remaining vermin fled as expected. Soon afterwards, the inn gate swung open. We were met at the door by a leveled muzzle of a shotgun and the firm scowl of an old crone, suggesting she was unafraid to use it. Wager it wouldn't have been her first time. Finally. Finally, someone with a head on his shoulders. Please take this. I won't be needing it anymore. Thank you, miss. <sighs> Thank you, miss. Uh. Oh, just call me Ruth. Wait, is that Duke? My lady. Hello, Ruth. You two know each other? Yes. Indeed, Ruth has been a friend for many moons, patched my wounds in a uh, time or two. Huh. Oh, so Ruth is a friend now, is she? In the way I tell it, I play more the savior, watching you crawl your way back from every hunt. More beaten than the last. Tell me, friend, where did the wind take you this time, running about the wilds with no word to your allies? Hmm. Thank you, Hunter, for bringing this fool back to me. Please rest your legs here a bit. I need a moment to bandage Duke. I dare say he looks worse than I would have imagined. The floorboards creak as Ruth helps Duke limp out of sight. After a moment, their footsteps pause. Ruth screams, What do you mean you can't see? I've known Duke for years, but after all that's happened today, I feel like he's a stranger to me. Did he really hide so much, or did I ask so little? I don't know what to do next. There's a young woman, Cora, that wants to speak with us. Ruth claims she runs the place, an innkeeper hardly older than a child. In a place like this, it's a mad time indeed. Ruth entrusted you a double-barreled shotgun. Unfortunately, it's damaged. You can use this opportunity to visit the crafting wagon and repair it. To do so, click on the crafting wagon in your camp. Crafting wagon is a hub for a number of unique activities. Best to pay it a visit sooner than later. Old friends, enter sharp, a shop, embark, camp. Crafting wagon. Operate the crafting wagon to forge new items, weapons, and charms. To craft anything, hunters need certain resources. Current Resource totals can be found in the top left corner of the screen. Mouse over each resource type for more information. Left side of the screen shows your currently held blueprints. Click on a blueprint to see the costs, uh, resulting item in the costs. Ready to begin? Add this project to your crafting queue with the craft button. This is a list of your active build requests to start working on the crafting queue. Assign at least one hunter to the crafting task. Remember the job board panel? You can assign the crafting task there. In the top right corner of the screen, you'll find a button that op opens the job board directly. Even so, such tasks require time. To finish the build, you'll need to wait in the camp. The more hunters assigned to a crafting job, the less time it takes to activate. We also have a harpoon launcher. High, stamp dam high stab damage without making a sound. Heavy stamina cost, though. And requires ritual ingredients, which we don't have. Okay, what is... Manage your hunters. Sacrifice a hunter to bolster another one. Oh, boy. Okay. So, well, one of them crafts. I think the rest are going to work on... Scavenging? It looks like you don't get resources when you're here. You get food, but that's about it. Okay, so we got some food. We've got the double barrel shotgun. Food is good. I don't know if we have to worry about that too much. So if I go out here, we could do old friends. Yeah, Thank let's you. do this dialogue. Many thanks to you, good sir. I wish you had a more fitting reward, but no bother. Where's the damn rifle? I think I already have it. Lady Ruth gave it to me. Oh, yes, Ruth. Nasty woman, but without her, we'd never have made it until your help arrived. Who is she exactly? She looks... She has the look of a noble, but I've never heard of a lady using a gun. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't say too much behind her back. Just know that she puts up a harsh mask. Underneath it all, she's a caring sort. She is a skilled leader, and she always is a great help to us outsiders. Should we find ourselves sick or wounded? Alright. That was it for Act 1? Or now it's Act 1. Getting back on track. We spend the next few days at the inn. Cora doesn't mind. I think she feels safer with us guarding the place. Duke's looking better. I know we should talk, but to be honest, I don't know where to start. 
All these new places, people, mysteries. It's a bit too, little bit too much. But I have to make a decision about where we go next and see. Chief. Chief, we should talk about what happened, why I left, and what I found. Oh, wow, Duke, that's a bit of a makeover. Tell me. Mm. First, I left alone because I didn't want you to follow me. Not as much, but why? Why here? Who's Ruth? How much did you decide not to share with us? I wasn't sure how my search would end, now that you see my worries weren't imagined. Although I was expecting more material threats. What do you mean? Does this have anything to do with your old friend, right, was it? Yes. Yes, Chief, but he was right. We were wasting our time in the wilds, wandering without a cause. We helped some people, but in the end, how much did it change? That some outsiders could go another month living in fear until another pack found them? The world is broken, no matter how many beasts we will slay. We won't fix it. But you thought you found a way? Right, did, and I believed him. He spoke of a beautiful world that was once full of love and passion for living. Long ago, when God yet lived. But he is no more. Mm -hmm. And that, my friend, is not entirely true. How that so? is true. It's true that our God has been dead for as long as we know. But God is not human or beast. And he cannot simply die without further consequences. So what of his body? The corpse is out there somewhere, rotting away. Spreading corruption across the face of the wilds. A curse that gives rise to newborn madness in the dark. But the beasts become more twisted every passing year. Final hour draws his close, chief. Alright, hold on. This still doesn't explain why you rode out of here to the crown. Hmm. I think, or I thought, that was the location of the carcass. That's what Wright thought as well. We had strong evidence, gathered over months of research. I did find something there in the end. A vile will that took my, ha my face in its hands. It showed me things, terrible things, with no sense nor meaning. But sure, it took my sight. Not the finest trade, eh? Duke, where's Wright now? Chief. Chief, I know what you're thinking, and it's not his fault, what happened to me. But still, you should speak with him. He was a great help to me until the crown. You should find him at the Cavern of Whispers. It's carved into the coast, northwest of here. I would show you the location on the map, but, you know. Don't worry, I'll find the way. Stay here and rest. I'll be back soon. Uh, yes, Small yes. Request. Master Hunter, please call chief. me Chief. Ah, all right, Chief. My old man, while he still breathed, told me many stories of hunters helping people in need. Must not see hunters very often in this region, eh? Hmm. No, not at all. Duke meets with Ruth from time to time, and once the militia showed up asking questions, methinks you're not welcome by the townsfolk traveler, am I wrong? We're exiles, no longer members of society, but I have a feeling you're getting at something. Ah, yes, of course. Don't get me wrong. We're grateful, grateful that you helped us, but my boys told me that some bees still roam near the inn. Monsters on the road. It's bad for business, you see. It tends to take a toll on one's health as well. I'll take care Chief? of it. Chief? Well, really? Great. I have a gift for you on your return. My father's old trinket told me that it brought him luck during the war. Rewards are always welcome. We'll check the crossroads for you and return when it's clear. Neat. I like this game. I feel a bit bad that I didn't actually play it earlier. Because, uh, like, all things considered, the illustrations are gorgeous. The tactical gameplay, it seems a little basic so far. Hopefully we get some more interesting abilities apart from... Uh, stab, shoot, banish, and, you know, maybe throw nets and some other things. But, like, I'm really impressed. It's really cool. Looking at the Steam, pa Steam page, it has a big update coming on Friday. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, I think I might uh, hit the brakes here uh, for now. If it's got a big update coming on Friday, hopefully that'll actually fix some of the issues. Whatever the issues are, but, you know, big update. Might as well... Uh, Wait, I guess? I don't know. Because I I really I really like this. This is cool. Uh unfortunately it's it's wrecking my voice in an advanced degree. I've been um I've been recording a lot lately and I need to take a bit of a break. So I think we'll just leave this as a not a one off, but a, a short delay before we play anymore, because the world building, the lore, the everything, this is actually a lot of what I wanted out of Bloodborne. Uh, but it's a little bit more upfront about it, in kind of a Banner Saga style, and I like that. I like that a lot. I won't play more, but I, I can't I can't read anymore, and it's going to wreck my voice. So, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, I'm going to play more. Guaranteed. Uh, but for now, I'm going to give my voice a bit of a rest. Uh, so I'll see you next time, and as always, thanks for watching.